welcome back to my channel it's your girl erica how y'all doing miss girl y'all see me seeing y'all seeing me you look cute today sis you look cute today sis you finna look even cuter because i already know why you here you here because you like now my girl erica be giving face all day every day car don't never decline that's one thing you can always count on, okay? You can always count on eggs being hot right now. Uh, you can count on me giving y'all a good face. So, therefore, this video is dedicated to my girls who want to get that ultimate Erica Danley signature bomb base extravaganza. Okay, so my past two videos are dedicated to my natural girls. But it's time to get back into my roots, okay? Because I'm tired of walking around here looking like I'm scared. I'm tired of walking around here looking like... I don't like to dabble in the wild side. I'm tired of looking like I ain't a delusional girl that I very much so am. So that's fun, Miss Girl. We're gonna really tap in on this video. So some of the products um are super old, some of them are fairly new, some of them the every but just get just know everything I pull out in this video is fire. Okay. If you want to get into full coverage girl, am this is the video for you. This is my guaranteed face. If I need to re-up the roster. If I need to to get a, a, a bill paid, if I just want to flirt with your baby daddy, this is the face I'm doing it in. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, Miss Girl, let's come on. Let's get cute, girl. We, I don't even know what we say. Here, why ain't I? Come on, here. Okay, y'all. So, also, bear with me, guys. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. This is my first makeup tutorial that I am filming with my actual camera so I ain't gonna lie I'm a little nervous I'm a little scared but great things are coming in 2023 you know we're very much becoming that girl you know not that we haven't always been that girl but you know we really focusing now you know what I'm saying you did so yeah hair is clipped and out of the way so you know first things first we're gonna go in and prime and moisturize you know cause you can't give sexy without being moisturized you ain't never seen a porno without some oil so why would you think your face would be any different so I'm starting with my favorite moisturizer this is just top all the moisturizers I've really been playing around with glow recipe and I love it I also went ahead and got the toner as well just cause you know that's what the girls were liking you know I haven't, I don't know how I feel about the toner. Um, it's no ordinary. Honestly, guys, I love that ordinary toner, and it's only like $8. So, it's hard to top that in my opinion. But this is the Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice. It's supposed to auto-focus. I don't know. Okay, there you go. There you go. Auto-focus. There you go. Auto-focus. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's our first moisturizer. Now, I'm going in with the Refi Face Primer, the Glow and Sculpt. Um... I love this primer um at first I was like mm, I don't know how I feel about it I still sometimes just squeeze it on my hand versus doing the roller but you know this is YouTube so we're doing it all for the steady but baby girl when I'm in a rush oh you you best believe I'm squirting on my hand and going by my day gone day but I do really love this primer I feel like it gives me a nice this is gonna sound so contradicting, but I just hope that it makes sense. It just gives my skin like this really nice natural finish. When I say natural finish, I don't mean like my makeup is gonna look natural. It's gonna look, it's still gonna be full coverage, but it gives my skin like this, my real skin underneath my makeup, just such a nice, poreless, clean finish. Like, look at me. I ain't got a can of word. <laughs> I ain't never been heartbroken. I ain't never been broke. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? That's what this foundation just gives. All day, every day, period. And for that extra grip, I'm going to go on now with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Just a little bit here in the center of my face where I tend to pull a little bit of extra oil. So focusing it right here where I get oily at. A little bit on my forehead. That's where I hear in the little T-zone area, you know, right here. Uh, like... Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a little bit of color corrector. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector in the color number orange. Color number Jesus Christ. Um, this is my go-to color corrector because 
Honestly, the only one that I like other than this is the um, Dragon Beauty one. But I don't know, y'all. I just feel so awkward repurchasing it because it's kind of pricey, you know. But still, I don't, I don't know. So we're going to do just a super light coat of color corrector. I didn't mean to do this much, but I'm going to buff it in really, really thinly. And I'll just take it across the mouth area and then also um, directly here under my eye I don't have a lot of dark circles but I like to lock them in case and then I just take the excess and I put it on my nose <laughs> alright my dear so once we're all blended out we look like this so y'all know I typically don't mix foundations um, but lately I've been mixing my two favorite foundations and honestly I live I live okay so the first one that we're just going in with a little bit of is the rare beauty foundation in the color 500 in this just is the bees knees I just adore this foundation just and then next we're going over my Holly Boone LF 20 warm foundation um, I'll attach that video here for y'all so you can give that a look see but this one oh you want to give glam? You want to give that girl? Yeah. Y'all not like it? I do this every time. You want to give that girl? Y'all better work, bitch. <laughs> and I'm just going to take a nice domed Real Techniques foundation to brush to pound this all into the skin. It's something about foundation on a brush that's going to forever be top tier. It's going to forever give that girl. It's going to forever be the epitome of a flawless makeup application like i don't care what you say yes i mean you can do it with a sponge but it's something it's very much something about a, a brush argue with your mama because look at me yeah i cannot hide behind my phone anymore like this shows y'all everything like girl Girl, <laughs> don't say nothing about my, my little eyebrow hair right there. They need to get gone. <laughs> like, so here's this really fun fact. You don't pay attention to this burn either because I was trying to, I was trying to be Jada Waiter and I burned my forehead trying to curl my baby hairs. But anyway, um, lost my train of thought. I never, I really, I'm at this stage where I hate, literally hate taking hair off my brows. And let me explain why. I lift my brows up when I do my makeup, but I don't like how that lifted looks. Look, I don't like how the lifted look looks when I'm not wearing makeup. And then also my tail is shorter. Because, you know, obviously, like, it's lifted. Um, so if I take the excess hair off, then on my days I'm not wearing makeup, which is more days than I am wearing makeup, I look freaking insane. So yeah that's a little unasked for story time but thank you for coming to my TED talk once you really and i mean really master your base you be so excited because it's like oh oh my god what am i gonna use today what am i gonna do what am i you know what i'm saying it'd be so much it just be so much fun it's will forever be my favorite part of my makeup routine so now we're going in with the juvia's place concealer now, I really do like this feature, y'all. I really do. And this is in the color 13. And we're going to use this to sculpt out our face. We're going to give it a really lifted look today. I mean, a snatch to the gods. Like so. And now we're just going to go on with our Damp Beauty Blender and tap her into Perfection. Just look how pretty I am. Oh. <laughs> Long cold winter. Cause why? 
You fucking with a stone cold sinner. That's what you know. That's what he doing. <laughs> This made me want to go sing some Nicki Minaj. Like, that, that's my problem. Like, that's how I know I start looking too good. When I start uh, wanting to sing Nicki Minaj, oh, let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. Hey, eh? say what they gonna say. You can tell. You can tell. You can just tell who raised your girl. Like, literally, literally. I think that's, uh, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj and Wendy Williams just had such a strong. A, such a strong um what's the word like a such a strong influence on your girl's character development like <laughs> i'm sorry it's just just don't talk to me just don't talk to me don't talk to me I just look unrealistic, like, because it's Barbie, but you could join the way. Okay, so for concealer, we're going to go on with the Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. We're going to bring all the drama, all the brightness to under our eyes. This is from the H&B Cosmetics, my, literally my favorite concealer at the moment. I cannot wait for a restock where I can get my hands on all the shades. You need this concealer. You need it more than anything, okay? If you don't buy nothing else, I tell you to buy I say that a lot. <laughs> if you buy nothing else, I tell you to buy. This is one of those things that you need to buy. Um, it's my literally my favorite concealer. I wish I wish I could do my full base with this concealer, but unfortunately, I cannot. But I do use 0.5 in to really lift these eyes. And when I'm blending this out, y'all, put your sunglasses on. You see that? Put your sunglasses on. And I like to blend these. I like to blend my concealers out with a sponge and let me tell you why if you're afraid of giving casket mary if you're afraid of being um bright but it's just like not sinking into the skin properly this is why this sponge literally just wipes away all of your problems this literally just marries everything on the face when you do, do just light tapping bouncing motions i prefer to use the beauty blender brand of beauty blenders once you use a beauty blender beauty blender you will understand that um i cannot explain it the texture is just different i don't care say what you want but the black beauty blender which is designed for pro artists say what you want i don't care y'all can drag me in the comments you can say it's in my head i don't care maybe it is in my head or you know maybe it's maybelline but it's just, it's just, you know, you want to know how I do what I do. And I'm telling you how I do, but y'all just won't listen. Like, look at me. Girl. Looking like this. Oh, baby, I'm not the one you want to argue with. I'm not. I'm not. Because we can take it there. We can take it there. And I am going to take this out in a sharp line because it's just gonna go so well when we do our eyeliner and it's just gonna continuously get that lifted illusion like living my best drag fantasy over here and what you really want to focus on is getting that concealer placed and all the way blended out those edges should be so soft and seamless you don't know like you see where the brightness ends, but you don't know exactly where it's in. That's how you get like that really blended, that ombre, that faded effect. And that's what you want. That's what you want. That's how you're able to do those bright under eyes. I don't. What more do I need to say? I even put a little bit under the brows when I did my brows today. Um, I used the Refi Pencil and then I cleaned the tails up with the Juvia's Place Concealer in 13 because, you know, I wanted to give y'all a little extra gag because I'm nice like that. 
So um, next we're gonna go in and bronze and contour. We're gonna do both today because I really just want to make y'all sick of me. I want you to envy me. You know, even though I know it's one of the deadliest sins, you know what I'm saying, but this right here, y'all already know this one was coming. This this right here, Selena put crack in this one. She did. And I ain't even mad at it, y'all. You know, you you serve it up. Cause this one right here, this one gonna eat them every time. So this is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in True Warmth. And we're bronzing super heavy today. And then we're also going to go in and contour. So my contour is really going to cave these areas in. And it's really going to give my face that... You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just going to... What's really going to take me over the edge. And I'm going to blend this out nice and roughly. And this just... Y'all already know I love looking like a burnt pecan. You know what I'm saying? I love looking like a a, a chocolate. Ain't no chocolate that's this red. Like something about that brown skin with that red. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just oh Lord, have mercy. I love a, I love a red. I love a red. I love a red. Y'all don't understand that color theory. Those warm undertones. Oh, but baby, it's not messing with that red. Uh, it's just not messing with the red. And honestly, guys, it's just... This is just the creams. And look how flawless this just truly is. So I like to stamp this in with a brush. Angled brush of choice. Um... And I do a rough blend on the nose. And then we're really going to focus in on the nose. I'm going to have to attach the nose contour video on a separate video. Um, to show you how I get it extremely pinched. Because we are going for extremely pinched today. Um, you know. I know them pockets still recovering from Christmas. So you ain't got no money for no filler right now. You don't have money for rhinoplasty right now. And that's okay. So you are going to achieve it with makeup. And ain't nobody going to say nobody. Ain't nobody going to say nothing to you. And if they do. You 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 tag me in it. You tag me in it. Let 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 Auntie do the wrestling for you, okay? Cause I got some stuff to get off my chest. I got a lot of anger built up from the past year or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just you know I I, I owe a lot of people some ass whoopings that you know I, I just ain't never got around to. But I'm a heal, bitch. I'm I'm healing and I moved on and I'm let it go. As y'all can see, I went back long with the nails. Can't be fighting with long nails, so you know. So, the skin is already getting flawless, you know. Wake up, flawless, post up, rhyme rhyme in it. So, I am going to now pop a little of the LA Girl White Color Corrector under the eye. I'm going to let her sit right here for a second, okay. While she's sitting, I'm going to go in and contour the face. I'm going to contour my face using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in the color Chestnut. It's this really dark color and I just love this for intensifying my snatchedness. And I'm going to give me some lines down the nose here. For reference, I kind of like put it on the inside of my bronzer stick. Because the bronzer gives you that warmth. It gives you that color, right? But the contour is what's really going to give you that shape. As you can see, I can't breathe. Who needs to breathe? Who does that? It's very much ghetto. Very much ghetto. Like, no one should be breathing right now. And if you can breathe, your contour is not rich enough. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to take this on the temples of my forehead just because this is where I, the areas where I want more shape, more lift. Think about, Anna, 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 think about Angelina Jolie's face, you know what I'm saying? That's like the perfect face shape, according to society, whatever. Um, according to me too, I mean, the girl is fucking, I'm calling her a girl, she's a grown woman, but you get what I'm saying? Just like that. What areas of your face do you need to snatch more to look like Angelina Jolie? And just do that. 
that just blew your mind, didn't it? <laughs> Girl, you ain't got to sit here and think about where to place your stuff. Think about if you were an ice sculptor. Oh, you know, okay. Think about, I don't know if y'all used to do this. I used to do this, and then my mama would be so mad at me, and she's, she used to cuss me out. <laughs> but whenever we go to restaurants, you know, I'd always play with food. Always. Um, Think about butter. Were y'all those kids that, like, played with your food and, like, made shapes out of butter? Or was just that, that just me? Maybe it was just me, but whatever. Who cares? Um, Yeah, I used to sculpt things out of butter. So think about what you need to sculpt to make that shape like you have a circle right um you have a circle what okay this boom you have a circle what do you need to do to get a heart out of that circle you need to cut here cut here and cut that that's just your contour you get what i'm saying so think about an oval face to get the perfect ovalness of your face where do you need to cut off the excess stuff where is your face too fat? That's the area you're going to cut off. And that's where you're going to place your contour. I hope that made sense. Because <laughs> in my head, it just clicked. <laughs> it literally just clicked. Like, oh my god, you make perfect sense. Like, if you don't have an internal monologue, just found out what that was on TikTok, by the way. If you don't have one of those, I feel like my channel is not for you. Because I... My videos require a lot of internal looking because I just have like, imagine like Batman's cave and he has like all those TVs on the wall and you know he's watching or like Santa Claus, you know how like Santa Claus looks down at that globe and he sees everything, he sees it all, Jesus looks down and he sees it all, that's what it looks like in my head, like I see everything, like right now I see myself filming this video but I also see me editing this video, like like there's like a million screens going on in my head right now like i'm also thinking about the episode of seinfeld when um george's girlfriend you know she was licking those envelopes like that's on a screen in my head right now like there's multiple screens playing in my hair now there's a screen right now of my birthday like the things that i have planned for my birthday this year uh, yeah, there's just so many screen like there's a screen of what i think my mom is doing right now there's a there's just a billion screens in here and I, we, I hope that y'all have screens too, you know. Or maybe that's just a sign that, you know, something's seriously wrong with me. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I might have just came out to y'all on the low. Like, if there's any doctors watching this video, be sure to let me know. I'll pay the consultation. As long as you don't try to put me on no medicine. I, yeah, I, actually, actually, put me on some damn medicine, please. Because let me tell you something. I want some medicine but I don't want the medicine that's gonna show up on my record where people think I'm crazy and try to take my money like Britney Spears I don't want that kind of medicine I want the medicine that make the girls walk around all happy and smiling and stuff and don't nothing ever bother them don't nothing really offend them or nothing they just be out here living life feeling good and just high as hell for no reason on prescription medication that's 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 what I want I don't know if that exists, but that's what I want. I don't want to feel, but I want to feel good. And I want an appeal. And I don't want to pass out. And I don't want to die. Does that make sense? I might be just made up something in my mind. But that's okay. Um, If there's a scientist watching this video, you know, as you learning to get your face card together, you know. Hopefully, this video helps you accomplish that. And you go out and you design this medicine. And you want me to be the face of it on the commercial. And I'll be like, oh my god, yes, of course. And I get a lifetime supply of drugs. So, hopefully so. <laughs> you know, like, everything is relatable. Like, I'm sure, like, my husband's little sister... Or his mom or someone is watching this video right now, I'm sure. Like, everything relates to everything. Like, I don't know how, but I'm I'm just positive of it. Like, don't ask me, ask your daddy. Um, so now we're going to go on with my favorite powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. This is the original one. Um, I would go in with the Ultra Blur, but I mean, we're already snatched up. We don't want to give too much of a drag. Literally. 
even though you know I love my drag girls um I say this all the time but if you're new here hey girl you still here proud of your sis but sometimes I can take it down I can't take it there. But anyway, um, yeah, I literally got into makeup through drag. Um, I say it all the time, you know, so my queens are really the reason why I got into makeup. Like, I never got into makeup to enhance my beauty or to feel prettier or anything of that nature. Even though, you know, I've learned to, if that makes sense. Like, this, that was never, like, the priority. The priority for, to me, was the transformation, was the gag of it all. Like, Flipping through those channels at such a young age, watching people transform themselves to that, that did stuff. That just lit energy in me. Um, and always being like that very imaginative girl, always like in my hand, very creative, always have been like very um, left brain um, type of person. It just, it just, it just happened, you know, like. I didn't choose this life. This life chose me. Literally. Um, literally. <laughs> I can't explain. I just, I can't explain it, you know. Some, some things are just destined. And this was just one of those things that's destined. Like, I, I just knew that this is the gag for me. So, we're going to cut the cheek just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I knew it was funny. And yeah, didn't really know how I get there. Didn't really know the odds and ends of it. And I mean, who does? So, you know, when you're chasing a dream, when you're finding your destiny, you never really know where it's going to go. But you know the general feel. You know, well, let me stop saying that you know because you might not know. I know. I can see it. I can see everything in my head. I literally see it all. You know? At one point in my life, I thought what I was seeing was like deja vu. Because I was, because then later on, I'd be like, oh my God, this has already happened. Um, but then I realized it's not deja vu. It's me literally seeing my future and things that I wanted coming to life, you know. So it's not like destiny. Or, or yeah, it is destiny, but it's not like deja vu. It's like real life, you know. I don't know. So now we're going to go in with the one size powder. And we're going to take this powder here. And we're going to cook down the nose to give us that sharp edge. And we're going to just bake these areas to give us that. Look at that. Ooh! Cut the chick! Cut the mother loving chick. Somebody please cut the chick. Cut the chick. But now, I'm going to go in on a powder puff. This is the Tati Beauty Powder Puff. It's the little heart-shaped one. I just love it so much. And I'm going to further tap this in. This is going to give you those velvety Kardashian-type under eyes. Okay? I'm not going to tap it all the way in, just slightly. Just so I don't get, like, any harshness or anything. Because now we have to go in with our dun -da 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 -da, my favorite part, which is blush. <laughs> Every time I do this blush combo, I get some money. I ain't gonna lie to you. So my first blush here is the NARS Exhibit A blush. It's this really pretty corally type of color. And I dance this at the top and on the base of my cheek here, leaving this really area right here nice and clean for our second blush. Dance this on with a tapered brush. I like to give a little smirk when I apply my blush because that's what I just like to do. It just makes me feel rich, you know what I'm saying? I go all over my contour. With this blush, um, I don't go on with bronzer on top of it anymore. I literally just go over this area though, just the cheekbone area with the blush. Now the forehead, now I'm going, I'm hit that with some powder. But yeah, but this gets the all of the blush. And see how that just ate that up? Like, look. Didn't I tell y'all to find something safe to do? 
Didn't I tell y'all to find something safe to do? I had not already gave y'all fair forewarning that don't come over here if you wasn't ready to reach this upper echelon area of baddiness. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to go in with the icing on the mother-loving cake, okay? This is the Laura Mercier Strawberry Blush. It's this really pretty baby doll pink. I'm trying to get y'all to see the actual color. This is like the best color. I can get it for y'all. I mean, that's literally the color of it. And I load up on this, and then we just pop this right here and blend the top part of that Exhibit A with this strawberry. Girl. Say what? <laughs> Cheekbones on fullness? Like, oh, girl. Stop that! Stop that! Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. New prices. Way too high. You need to cut it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with the top tier bronzer of bronzers. This is the Fenty Mocha Mommy bronzer. We're going to go ahead and snatch the forehead. I like to do this on a very fluffy brush. You can do it on a fluffy angle brush, but this is just like my favorite brush to do so with because um, I kind of like gave this gravy analogy before and I think it stuck. Um... Yeah, you just pour the gravy on the rice and watch it go everywhere. You know, who wants some dry ass rice? Nobody. So think about that when you apply your bronzer. Don't nobody want no dry rice. Well, actually, I really do like, like when I go to hibachi, I don't eat sauce. Like, I really actually like the dry rice. But, you know. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So now I'm just taking my puff and I'm literally just pounding everything into the skin. I went ahead and bronzed under my eyes when I finished my nose contour. Um, but that's it. Um, yeah. Girl. I can buy myself flowers. And we're going to go ahead and highlight. Um, I'm just going to grab this Zulu, Zulu palette from Juvia's. Um, this rose gold color here um, only in the center of my face so that's none of the cheekbones but nose forehead chin and upper lip yes ma'am I like to I don't know why I squinch my forehead but when I squinch my forehead it just gives me this curvature and that's just how I know like where to do I uh, like it's it's just, it's just, it's just tea. It's just tea. Don't ask me. Just do it. Do it. Ask questions later. All right, y'all. So we're going to lock her down with my favorite setting spray now. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray. This, no matter what you do, girl, no matter who you do, girl, you ain't moving. Just drench the skin in that. Give her a little fan. Just look how she moleculing up. Look at that. Girl, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. I'm telling y'all now. I'm telling y'all now. I can feel it. I can feel Onika activating deep down in my soul, y'all. Finna text every nigga in my phone. Respond if you love Jesus. Ignore if you love Satan, girl. They gonna think they got a second chance. I'm gonna wait for the replies. I'm putting them right back on the block list because that's just the type of toxicity that I'm into. No, I'm kidding. I'm here. I'm here. I be reading the Bible and journaling stuff, y'all. Find y'all something safe to do. Look at me. Who she wanna be? You know I'm the face of the city. Ooh, girl, I got to get off that TikTok. I know I be on a deep end of TikTok when all I do is just speak TikTok. Like, good Lord. But I can't find a better way to describe how good I look right now. Are you shitting me? Let me put a little lip on real quick. Let me zoom in so y'all can really see what I'm working with. Y'all, 
So this is the one. Never two. I don't know what it. It just it just activate that. It just activated that girl in you. I'm sorry. You know, don't say I ain't never taught you nothing, my dear. Cause one thing the face gonna do is gonna always give, Miss Girl. Who? I do need to bump the hair a little bit, my little. My little leave out looking real left out right now. But that's okay. She's still giving. She's still giving. She's still giving. I'm going to bump it a little bit before I take me some little flicks or whatever. However, though, you know how we do. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Um, I definitely understood the assignment. I definitely gave y'all what you came here to see. I mean, period. Um, I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Let me know what else y'all want to see from me. Um, y'all know I just get so lost in sight when I just see myself. Like, I literally, I be forgetting how to close my videos out. Like, it's a real disability. I'm sorry. Like, I leave myself speechless every time, even though I do this face, like, almost every day. And I see this person looking back at me almost every day. And I say almost because sometimes, like, I don't look at myself. But <laughs> sometimes, like, I see Christian or, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just depends on who we are that day. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, this be the girl looking back at me. And she like me and I like her a lot. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. I love y'all. And we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social platforms. Love ya.